This video is going to dive into how we find trigonometric ratios for any size angle, but we're going to deal with it, rather than thinking of degrees, we're going to deal with it with radians and some shortcuts I have for radians here, okay? So let's say I have sine of 11 pi over 4. All right, so maybe your instinct is, oh, change radians to degrees, it's a lot easier. But I will, I'm going to try to steer your brain a little bit here, okay? So if I were to draw out my coordinate plane here, there it is, I did it all perfect and stuff, okay? So we know that if the denominator of the radians is 4, that means it's in 45 degree increments. 45 degree increments. Okay? And if it's 45 degree increments, so like this would be 1, 2, right? Because this is 45 degrees, this is 45 degrees, this is 45 degrees, and this is 45 degrees. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Right? So I have 8 pieces, or 8 45 degree pieces, in one full rotation. And so if I kept going, this would be 9, 10, 11. Okay? So... I don't have to do the conversion if I just count the pieces, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, my angle is going to end up right here that I'm doing in orange, okay? So that's where it's going to stop. See how easy that was? I didn't do the conversions, I just kind of count the pieces. And then from here, again we make our triangle, like I said, if it's 45 degree increments, that means my reference angle inside is going to be 45 degrees. And we already know that's going to be 1, 1, radical 2. Here, I'll do it in a different color. 1, 1, radical 2. And so sine from the reference angle is y over r, or opposite over hypotenuse. So this would be 1 over radical 2. But if I rationalize, which again, I'll do the shortcut here. All I do is move this up on top, radical 2. And whatever's on the inside, copy on the bottom, to over 2. So that is sine of 11 pi over 4. Radical 2 over 2. All right, let's do another example pretty quickly here. Uh, let's do tangent of 13 pi over 6. Okay. Again, you, your instinct might be, oh, I don't know how big that is. Okay, here's, here's the shortcut. If my denominator, my radians is 6, that means we're going in 30 degree increments. Okay. So how many 30 degree increments am I going to have? Again, let's draw my coordinate axis here. So... Right? If I, I would have three per quadrant, right? One, two, three. And if I go all the way around, that means I'm going to have six, nine, twelve. Right? So if it's 13 over six, that means I'm going to have one more slice over, so I, my angle is going to be right here. Right? So I'm drawing the numbers to help you kind of see it, but as you get used to it, you're like, oh, that makes sense. So we don't need to draw those numbers anymore. Okay? So my triangle's here. Again, if it's a 30 degree increment, I know my reference angle is going to be 30 degrees. And if I draw my special right triangle, it's going to be 1. 1 is opposite of 30. Radical 3 is over here. And, oh, 2 is up here. How about that? And then if I'm looking for tangent, it's opposite over adjacent, or y over x. So 1 over radical 3, which, if I rationalize, the answer is radical 3 over 3 would be my answer there. Okay. All right, let's do one more. Uh, and I'll do a negative angle this time. Let's do cosine negative 7 pi over 3. Okay? So 7 pi over 3. Uh, so if my denominator is 3, that means I'm going to have 60 degree increments. And this one's actually going to be a little bit more uh, tricky. So if I draw my axes, okay, there they are. If I draw my axis, so it's 60 degree pieces, like I'm going to have one here and one here, right? So over the entire 180, I have one of them here, two of them here, three here. So I have three 60 degree pieces per 180. And of course, the same would follow down here, right? So four, five, six, right? Because 60 times 6 is 360. So I have all those pieces, and I want to do seven. So actually, I did this backwards, because if it's negative, here I'll do, so if it's negative, I actually need to go the other direction. So this would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right, because it's negative. And so 7 would be right here. Right? So 
Again, if it's 60 degree increments, that means my angle close to the origin is 60 degrees, meaning radical 3 is over here, 1 is right, right there, and then 2 would be the hypotenuse. But be careful because notice how the x value or the leg that's on the x-axis is positive. It's positive x. But the y value or the other leg is going down, so it's negative radical 3. And if I'm doing cosine, it's the x value, so the negative really didn't matter in this case. So it would be 1 over 2, 1 half. So there's my answer. All right, so that is how you kind of quickly do trigonometric uh, ratios in a coordinate axis, but rather than like converting the, the radians to degrees, just remember that the fraction, the base, tells me how many like slices I need around the circle. So just keep that in mind. I hope that's helpful. There you go.